What's up Capricorn, kings, queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered and today I will be channeling the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for a general love message. Right now I'm getting your um, past, present, and future, um, no you tried it. for the 21st through the 30th and this is your bi-weekly reading here okay you saw I just said someone want to be chatty cappy let me say <laughs> that shit okay alright so we have um, pay attention to the red flags and signs are cautioning you this is in your past um, energy here for you and the person that's most prevalent on your mind. It says mutual energy. We also have express your love. It has go, it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture, but this is in the reverse here. So definitely give me that sense that you could be dealing with a either a karmic or someone that um, you're not on the same page with um, emotionally. So it's like don't put yourself out there when it's you're just gonna be rejected is what I'm getting here. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. Honestly, discuss your feelings with, with each other here. And this is in your future moment. So I'm definitely getting a sense that you could possibly be dealing with two or more um, sub different people here. But even in this space, it's like either you or your person that you're dealing with in this future moment, someone's really not wanting to hear what the other one has to say is what I'm getting here. We also have trust here at the bottom. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith definitely a situation of faith in like divine timing and all of that energy all right so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it here and we're gonna see where you currently are i'm gonna do get you all the energy here don't mind me guys <laughs> i'm talking to myself all the time okay All right, so we have the Ten of Swords here. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. And then we have the Hermit card here. All right. Okay. So off rip, I'm definitely getting a space in which it's like right now you're in a place of separation from someone. Um, or someone disappointed you in regards to love here. Yeah, something was definitely released because of heartbreak here. And some of you could possibly be avoiding it. Capricorn energy here. So yeah, it's, it's definitely like you're you're you were disappointed by something or someone that something some something that someone did here. And now you're trying to figure out. Um, it's almost a sense of being afraid here to deal with this person some of you don't want to even um, have sex with this person because of something that they did if it's not a complete separation here and it could have been something that you saw on their phone or their laptop here Virgo energy could have been dealing with a Virgo or they could have been dealing with a Virgo possibly also getting the sense that um, it's like you did gain some sort of knowledge that you previously did not have something was concealed and you kind of brought it to light here all right
right, so it looks like, you know, you're really waiting for this person to come towards you here um, with this three of wands. You're waiting for them to either come tell you the truth about something or to at least explain their side of the issue here. Because you're really feeling like, you know, you have a you you have a strong connection with this person, um, possibly a familiar unit with this person, and you also have a lot of um, love for this person. But it, it's in a place where you're almost feeling like you're wanting to withdraw your love here with this Queen of Cups. Definitely in this space, um, this is Gemini's energy as well as Cancer's. Definitely possibly wanting to just take your love away from this situation here. Yeah, because you felt like this person was doing some sneaky ass, conniving ass shit and being an opportunist with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. Definitely feeling like they were keeping something from you. And they weren't being completely honest, working in their own interest here. fortune in the reverse here is it's showing like if th this person stays on this path and doesn't really um be open with you it is definitely going to put you in a place of this relationship not really moving any um moving forward from this point here specifically because you feel like you can't trust this person now and once you're in a place of feeling like you can't trust someone that's pretty much all she wrote there you know <laughs> pretty much that's it yeah because you're feeling like oh hold on one second yeah because you're feeling like this person could have possibly not really um you know you you really gave a lot to this person and this person really didn't return that to you yeah and now you're feeling like A lot of you guys, Aries, um, Aries, Aquarius energy, but a lot of you guys are feeling like the fool here. Or feeling like this person kind of takes you as a fool, maybe. But to be honest, you guys want a new beginning with this person, some of you, but some of you kind of just want to move forward and have a new beginning elsewhere, but you're afraid. You're afraid to take that leap, that jump, all of that. You're, you're definitely afraid to move forward here and a lot of you guys are afraid to be single here you don't want to be by yourself you don't want to start all the way over again i'm also getting an energy that some of you guys feel like i can do bad all by myself though this person is um, basically kind of rejecting you or at the very least avoiding the conversation here at this time you also may be feeling like this person could be acting like they don't want to be bothered either and they're kind of bored of, of being in a relationship or being in this situation with you here yeah so it's like you're gonna do them look you're gonna do what they couldn't and release their ass <laughs> like okay if you don't want to be here baby there's no locks on these doors all right yeah because it looks like and it looks like they're going to be coming back in to talk to you guys to want a sense of growth here 
they're gonna want to um talk about what they what they where they fucked up with the eight of wands and the king of wands with the emperor's card and start to really nurture this relationship to move it forward which is kind of crazy because it's like well why you do all of this you know like why did you do all of this if you were just gonna come back around in, in, in the first it, it makes literally no sense give me the ten of wands spirit Yeah. So it looks like with the um with the oh goodness, with the justice card here, this was fated to happen here. It's like this is almost what is it's it's like this had to happen in order for you guys to get on a certain page here. Because it looks like you were already bored. And this could be you or your person, especially if you're dealing with the fire sign, Leo Sagittarius. Sagittarius Aries you were already bored with this situation here or they were already bored with this situation and you guys were trying to move forward anyway and it's like you finding that out that information that you found out that was judgment like that was some shit that you could no longer turn your back on and allow to be swept up under the rug and that's why that happened here so it basically put you in a decision where you had to walk away you had to make the choice to walk away from this situation and this could be you or your person's energy that I'm picking up on Yeah, yeah. With the with the moon card here, you're waiting for them to come towards you and tell you like what the fuck is up? Like what what like why did they do what they did or why did they feel the need that they couldn't come to you or be open and honest with you? Because it's like right now you're feeling like they don't really give a fuck. They're at with scissor hands in this motherfucker, King of Swords. Like they're very nonchalant about how they want to like move forward with you they, they're being very inconsiderate like they don't give a fuck about their family and shit and you're just like what the fuck is this you know with this queen of um which is making you feel like well fuck this shit then with the five of um wands energy if you want to put me in competition with other people then okay i can show you better than i can tell you i completely remove myself from this situation because I don't have to deal with this. I don't have to deal with um, this um, this unhappiness here. Because it's almost a sense of they're treating you like like you're needy here. And you, you're not. If you don't want my love, then I'll take my love somewhere else. I'll take my love to someone that actually cares about it and wants to be with me. I don't have to deal with this. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting here. And I don't have to deal with this. Ten of Pentacles with the yeah yeah see Ten of Pentacles again here with the um, Wheel of Fortune here. This is all about it's it's this is like a, a, a setback here, not being able to move forward at all. Like it's like if you don't want your family, just stay there. But it's like this is what you're feeling. You're feeling like someone doesn't want to hear what you what you have to say or they don't want to tell you something and it's like once they come towards you and tell you this shit you're gonna be like well fuck it that I, I don't even care anymore it's almost a space of like i don't i don't i don't even i don't even care to know now i don't even care to know because you feel like right here when you were giving them your all or when you were trying to really give to them and you were interested in talking they didn't really want to come towards you with any any um they don't want to come towards you so yeah and see this is this is your fear you you really are afraid of moving away from them because you already know once you leave a situation it's a fucking wrap like once you're done them it's it's a wrap it's a wrap yeah because at that point you're going to start to prioritize your happiness overall and you're not going to be worried about anyone else or how they feel about it it's like you had your chance to talk and you didn't use it, so now it's my chance to talk. Yeah. 
Yeah, eight of. Hmm. See, them acting like they're like unbothered by the situation is really making you feel like, okay, well, bye. Well, bye. But it's crazy because they really want to be with you. They're acting like they don't care, but they deeply want to fucking reconcile here. Yeah. They want to reconcile here. They're just so immature about how they're going, um, going about things here. Like, they may even feel like, you know, um, it, it, it's definitely a sense of emotional immaturity here. This person is definitely emotionally immature about how they want this relationship and if they, you know, how a relationship is supposed to go, really. Give me the Eight of Wands, the King, and the Empress Spirit. Yeah, Ten of Wands here in the reverse, the Six of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, they're wanting to work on this. They're going to understand that, you know, first of all, they, they need, they're they going to understand it's going to be a struggle for them to heal this relationship and have another opportunity with you. And it looks like that's what they need to know because they were taking you for granted for so fucking long. They, they, they started to think that they really had choices out here, something that was better than you. They, they really started to think that they did and see now they know no you don't you know i'm the best choice that you could ever fucking have <laughs> like stop fucking like playing with me and for some of you guys that need some clarity i'm gonna go ahead and get you some signs that you could possibly be dealing with during this time frame we have mars aries energy fire aries leo sagittarius um leo sagittarius aries energy and then we have Gemini energy here. And then we have Leo again. Yeah, I said that. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the fire sign here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get you guys. I want to get you some more cards here. Toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people, yes, definitely. Recalling, reminiscing, memories returning, what I say. Drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. D didn't they, though? Acting like they don't, they didn't give a fuck about this relationship with this king of um, swords here. Archangel Michael, protection prevented from harm, divine, um, divine intervention here. Yeah, they're going to get their shit together because they don't have no choice but to do that. Yeah, see, with that poverty card flipping out, uh huh, they want to start over, starting to date your ass again. I bet you are, bitch. I'm sorry, you guys. I just hate for people to try to play somebody. Like, don't do me, don't do me, don't do me. Cause we have adjudication here, we have fucking courthouse here, we have occupation here. Spirit is not playing today. Toil and labor here, hard work to get this shit back on back on the right path because you wanted to play with the church's fucking money. Now we got poverty here with this poison card because yeah, now you feel in some type of way because now guess who the fuck don't care? I'm I'm the queen. I'm the king of not caring now. And now you feel in some type of way because I'm going I can I can show you better than I can tell you. So then you're gonna put yourself in this position where now I wanna start all over again with you guys. I wanna start all over again because some of y'all y'all not gonna play with their ass. Y'all gonna be like, oh okay I can show you better than I can tell you. Drastic extreme cut off. So since they wanted to play games with you and act like they didn't care, now you're at the courthouse. And you look. And it means nothing to you. This is like I'm doing this for my best self. To live my best life. That's why I'm doing this. Because clearly, you had the game messed and messed up. Alright. Let's go ahead and try this once more. So we have the Grim Reaper in the reverse here. And it's saying uh, the relationship is over. No second chance is going to transform your life. 
It looks like it's not over though, since it's over here with the poverty and poison. It looks like you're gonna get their ass another shot, but you're gonna let them know that this not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. Yeah, you're gonna let them know like who to play with though. And then we have love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking about you and letting you know. I know you're thinking about me now. I know you are. I know you are. We have unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. That's in the reverse because that's when you take, you're going to take their ass to court let them know what's what. Karmic relationship, bleeding triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Some of you guys, like I said in the beginning, you could be dealing with the karmic relationship here. And letting them go is going to be motherfucking effortless here with that occupation. And you're going to see the truth of what you need to see here. See what's on the back. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise and um, invitation and meeting. Hesitation. What? Like this shit said, protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you guys, Cap. Um, thank you so much for all of your love and support. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.